guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so today we're going to be doing some acrylic milk bath nails um but before we get into the application i'm going to be doing a little prep around my nail bed area um just to get up all of that gel product from my last set so here i'm just going around my cuticle area just to get up all of that product and dead cuticle from my skin and also just to push it back just a little bit um this cuticle bit i'm not sure where it's from but i will look into it so i can link it down below it works really good i want to say it's from two cute nail supplies i did receive some drill bits from them um, i'm not sure but i will link it down below it works wonders so i'm just going to be going around my cuticle to remove all of that next i'll be clipping down my cuticles with some cuticle nippers and then we'll go over it with the sanding band to remove the shine from my natural nail plate now i'm not a professional so i am not telling you this is the exact way to do it or the proper way i know there might be some steps where i'm kind of doing it wrong i am just a nail enthusiast i want to put out this disclaimer i just like to do what i like to do and what i'm comfortable with so the way I do it, you guys don't have to follow, but these steps are recommended if you guys want to ensure a lasting long nail set or if you don't want them to live, this is what you need to do. So after this, I thought I was going to take a sanding band and go over my natural nail plate, but for some reason I didn't. So we're going to go straight from clipping my cuticle to removing all of that dust so we can apply my nail tips. Once I did, this is what the nails are looking like. I know my nails are uneven, but I do like my natural nails to be long, so I don't like to cut them. I just go in with my nail tips. So here I'm just sizing them out. The nail tips I'm using are my current favorite right now, which are from Crafts by Nine. These are the 3XL Square No C Curve Tips. I love them. I always use them, and they are linked down below in my frequently used products because I use them a lot. And I do have a discount code for this site, so if you want to check them out, the discount codes and the links will be linked down below. So I did go ahead and apply them. Also, I did apply peel off base off camera, but I didn't show because I didn't want to confuse anybody since I did do some nail prep. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like that would be kind of confusing to show both of them. Um, but yeah, I did go ahead and put on my nail tips. I cut them down to my desired length. And now we're going to go in with the application. So like I said, I'm going to be doing some acrylic nails today and I'm going to be doing some milk bath nails. So I would have been done this nail design, but for some reason, I didn't think I had this milky white. Like, I know I wanted it from Carol Sky. I got it when it, like, just launched or, like, a few days after. Um, and for some reason, I thought I didn't have it, but it was sitting, like, over by my other acrylics the whole entire time. And when I was going through them, I was like, wait, I had this the entire time and I didn't know. I could have been done this nail set for you guys. But all that matters is I'm getting to it now. So using this rather new Milky White from Kara Sky, I'm going to be applying this to three of my nails. But this is going to be the base. So it's going to be really, really thin or at least I'm going to try to make it as thin as I can get it. But also like as opaque as I want it. So I'm going to be keeping these layers very thin. Um, and I'm going to be applying this Milky White to my index, middle, and pinky nail. Um... And I love this acrylic, like, Kara Sky acrylics are just so buttery and so easy to work with. Definitely recommend if you are a beginner, advanced, like, no matter what you are, I highly suggest their acrylic powders. Like, they're just so buttery and just so easy to work with. 
And to help you guys out, if you do want to purchase anything from Kara Scott, I do have a discount code that you guys can use. Um, or you can just click the referral link in the description and the code will automatically apply, which saves you time from typing it in. Um, and so I didn't have a hard time using this at all. It was so simple, so easy. And yeah, I'm just going to be applying these to three of my nails, which is not going to take me long at all. And then we'll get into the fun part, which is encapsulating all of the flowers. In my opinion, this is such a good milky white. Like, it has the most perfect amount of pigment to it, but it's, like, also sheer in a way, so it's not, like, super bright white. I highly recommend this. Um, it's my first time using it, and I'm blown away at the shade. Like, it is just so perfect. So, once I got the three nails done, I'm going to be taking out some flowers. Some of these flowers are from Amazon. Um, the bigger one that I just showed in, like, the little flat paper one that is from Timu and originally when I did my Timu video and I unboxed it um I knew for sure I wanted to do some milk bath milk bath nails so this video is most definitely long overdue um but like I said for some reason I didn't know I had this milky white I knew for sure I picked it out but I was just thinking maybe they left it out or they just didn't include it the whole time it was just sitting over by my other acrylics so for the flowers, I just have them kind of laid out and open, get them accessible because I want to apply these as quick as possible. I am using acrylic to apply them, so I don't want it to dry super fast. So wherever I want my flower to be, I'm just placing a little bit of clear acrylic there and then placing my flower how I want and then moving to the next. I really wanted to use like the bigger ones from Timu. Also in that video, I mentioned how I didn't think they were going to be this big. And like these are so huge, I couldn't even put them on my nail how I wanted to because like the center part was just like super thick and the way I wanted the flower to be, it would just like not really lay down. Most likely I was going to do like half flowers, so I would have to cut them in half. But once I placed on the first flower you guys saw, like it was just not working. The middle part was way too big and I feel like it would have been like too bulky or like so much to encapsulate and I just didn't feel right putting them on so I'm just going and trying to get like thinner pieces which worked out a lot better they were easier to lay down and just a lot simpler as well also I wanted to mention how I've been seeing so many of the flower garden nails where they have like the 3d moss I love how those turn out just seeing all of those just push me to do these nails so I want to say like even though I wanted to do these nails anyway I feel like seeing those just kind of gave me that extra push I need to do some flower nails like this so I'm gonna say that this design is kind of inspired by that or just like you know not really inspired but it just gave me the motivation to do this design so you see me cutting pieces here and there just figuring out what i want what color scheme i want 
how I want the flowers to be and I'm just gonna be doing this for all of my nails for some of the pieces I cut I didn't even use them which I'm super sad about like this purple one here I really wanted to use this one and maybe put it like at the tip of the nail but I just forgot it was there or I just end up using something else um but yeah that's basically what I'm gonna be doing for this part it was super fun however I feel like my placement could have been better like I feel like like, I don't know, I just feel like my placement could have been better, but once I finished getting all of the flowers on, it did look very, very nice. Um, also, one thing I wanted to mention, I love how these, like, little green pieces look. So, I did go ahead and cut some of those up, and you'll see me applying it to the bottom of my nail here. One thing about these is that they bleed a lot, so once I lay them on the nail and, like, it just soaks in that wet acrylic it starts to bleed and you can see these surrounding areas just start to turn a little green it wasn't such a harsh bleed but like up close you can tell that it's bleeding so i try not to include a lot of them i just kind of substitute it for another green flower or just just to include like some greenery um but once i finish getting all my flowers i don't want to overcrowd them because i want them to look like they're kind of floating so you know I don't want to overcrowd them a lot once I finished getting all my flowers I did take out my gold flakes and I'm just putting them in some of these surrounding areas and I really love how this look with the flowers I feel like it adds such a nice touch to it it just gives me like royal soft vibes like angelic I don't know how to explain it but I really really love how it looks and that is basically what I'm going to be doing for all of my nails and hopefully it doesn't take too long for you guys to watch but i really really hope you guys enjoy this part i didn't plan to talk as much in the in this video um all of these links will be down below i'll try to link all of the flowers more than likely you can just search dry flowers on amazon and you'll get a lot of like searches for them yeah i'll try to link everything i can below and i'm just gonna let you guys go ahead and watch this part play out I hope you guys are having a fun time watching today's video. I hope you guys are having a nice week. Also, I was kind of curious because the day I'm doing this voiceover is actually August 1st. And schools here start up tomorrow, which is August 2nd. So if you are going back to school or college or whatever the case may be, let me know down below. And also let me know how it would be like for you to watch YouTube. Let me know like your schedule because I know you guys will be busy with homework and stuff like school even though I post during like the afternoons around five or six it will not interfere with school but just let me know um so I can know how to post and everything and also I'm just curious as to who's going back to school and who's out of school I am out of school which I'm so happy for and for those of you who are going to school I honestly feel for you I have nieces and nephews going to school however I hope you guys have a fun time at school I hope it's a great learning experience I hope you guys do well and exceed and be able to achieve everything you want to achieve but yeah let me know down below if you are a student if you're going to college if you're out of school also just kind of throw in like how your YouTube schedule is so I can know how to work around you guys's um life or whatever and also just a fun fact like since I was bringing up college it I kind of wanted to throw in there so like a fun fact about my sister the one who's always helping me with my nails the one I always mention Kayla she is actually in nursing school she's been going to clinicals and today is her last day for like her final test and I cannot believe it's been that long like and it's just such a fun experience because even though I'm not the one like going to college classes and like going to clinicals actually working in a hospital I, like when she learned these things sometimes I help her study and sometimes like the way she processes like the information and the way she understands is if when she tries to like teach other people so I just let her explain it to me and honestly learning about the body and how it works like sicknesses like it is just so interesting how everything is all connected and I feel so proud of myself because sometimes when like she's talking about things I remember and I understand and I'm not like completely lost so I can so basically I can follow what she's telling me so yeah, it's just so fun because like basically she's teaching me as well I mean obviously I don't know all of the stuff she knows but I know a good handful and honestly it is just so interesting if you're a nursing student let me know down below 
or if you know anyone who's related to you, have a friend who's a nursing student. I will say though, I honestly feel for you because with these study hour times, the amount of knowledge you need to know in the clinical times, like there's just not enough time in the world for you guys. So honestly, I feel for you so much. I hope you all are doing great. Yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there. I'm so proud of her and fingers crossed that she passed her test. She been, she's been studying nonstop. Like literally last night we watched Hamilton together and we stayed up kind of late. She woke up six o'clock this morning to like start studying. And so yeah, she's just like really trying to get it done. So fingers crossed that she did pass her test and I'm just truly proud of her. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there. I went on a little rant about her. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to just let you guys continue watching the rest of this play out. If you are enjoying today's video so far, make sure to go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and also leave a comment down below. It would really, really, really help me out and push me out with the algorithm. So with the time of me talking, there's not really much to just sit back and relax. So I am done applying my flowers and this is what the nails are looking like. I love how they look all together like the cluster of flowers. They look so cute. Um, but now it's time to like actually give these the milk bath effect. So if you haven't seen any like milk bath inspiration, I will pop up a few on screen just so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, but basically I'm just going to be using that milky white again to just go over the flowers and give that illusion as if like there's flowers and a milk bath. And I feel like my first one, I did add a little bit too much. So I feel like in some areas they were covered more than I wanted them to be. And also I feel like it had a lot to do with how my flowers were placed. So once I went on to my middle finger, I just wanted to basically I started working with wetter beads and instead of just trying to pile it in one spot um I just kind of brushed over the entire nail so it gives like the whole nail that same transparency or I don't know what I'm trying to explain but it did end up working a lot better on my middle finger and I tried to do the same thing for my pinky finger but I feel like since it is a little bit smaller and I had more flowers on there it was just like a lot to try to cover so it just didn't come out the same but it still looked pretty good either way so i am going to do this for all of my nails and after this i'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate just because i usually do all of my nails like i don't know what made me do this but i'm just going to go ahead and get these nails out the way first so i'm taking some clear acrylic from kara sky and this acrylic is super super clear i'm just going to be encapsulating them um and i did encapsulate them kind of thick because I wanted to make sure that all of my flowers were encapsulated when I go to file. I didn't want to file through anything. So I really, really made sure that they were in there and I couldn't reach them when I started to file. So you see in the end, once I finish like encapsulating, I'm going to show them again. And you'll see that they do look kind of bulky, which I wasn't too proud of. But like I said, I had reasoning for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this part play out. Once I finish with these nails, we can finally get into the other two nails, which are going to be very simple.
I only showed me encapsulating two of these nails because I didn't want to make it super repetitive. But for my other nails, I'm going to be using a pink from Carol Sagan and also again that milky white. So for this one, I did have like inspo from another set. Um, it wasn't like an entire set, but I wanted to do this nail because I thought it would look nice with my milk bath nails. So I'm going to be starting at the cuticle with this light pink color. I'm going to be ombre it down just a little bit. Underneath the pink, I'm going to ombre a little bit of the milky white. And then I'm going to leave like the tip of the nail clear. And then we'll go in to encapsulate. And then once I shape and file, I'll be adding some bling to them. So once I had all of my nails done, this is what they are looking like and they look pretty thick. I'm not going to lie, they look, they look super thick, but we're going to go ahead and file and shape and buff the nails. I'm going to start by reshaping my sides as I always do, reshape the underneath, go over the surface of the nails to make sure they're all smooth. The main thing I wanted for these because I knew I didn't want to file too much, I just wanted to make sure that they were like a a good shape but yeah for this part i'm not going to talk too much i am just going to let you guys just go ahead and watch i'm also going to take my um e-file and go around the cuticles to seal that in a little bit also i'll be doing a little bit more filing over the surface and underneath and i'm just going to let you guys watch this part play out again if you are enjoying today's video go ahead and leave a like subscribe and leave a comment down below
so after i'm done with all of my filing this is what the nails are looking like um like i was mentioning they still look a little bit thick but for the most part i think i got them down good enough to where i didn't file through and mess up my flowers that was basically my main goal so now it's time to remove all of the dust usually i would go get up and wash my hands but i was feeling a little lazy when i recorded this video so instead, I'm going to be taking a stiff manicure brush and some alcohol and just scrubbing these nails down, making sure to get around the cuticle area, the surface of them underneath. And now we can start to actually go in and top coat the nails. So I'm not going to be doing anything to my milk bath nails. I'm just going to let them stay as is. So I'm going to go ahead and top coat all of them using my Valentino Glossy Top Coat. I'm going to go ahead and cure and then I'll top coat and add my bling to my other nails. So I really, really love this bling box if you guys couldn't tell. I got this bling box from Timu in one of my sponsored videos and I absolutely love it. I love the size range for the rhinestones. Like for some reason, I just really, really love these smaller rhinestones. I feel like I don't have any like them and they come in handy a lot. I use them a lot. But for my ombre nails here, my ring and my thumb, I'm gonna be top coating them and then just putting some rhinestones like mostly near the tip of the nail just to give it a little bit of bling and I love how these turned out however I wish that the tip of my nail was a little bit clearer so now looking back I kind of wish I wiped away some of that milky white so it leads more to like a clear transition but either way I love how it looks the bling made it pop so much better and once I'm done with this we'll add some cuticle oil and we will be done with today's set And also I went ahead and top coat underneath the nails even though they weren't as clear as I like them to be I did just go ahead and ensure that they were as clear as possible so I put them in the light with my hand turned over now I'm going to go ahead and add some cuticle oil and rub this into my cuticles re-nourish them And once I finish rubbing in my cuticle oil, this is how the finished nails look. I absolutely love how this milk bath illusion looks. It looks so nice and soft. Like I can honestly see so many like Pinterest boards of like milk bath inspirations in my mind. Like it just looks so cute. I love it so much. However, I feel like my placement could have been a little bit better. Maybe using different flowers for like a different pattern or combination. Um, and also one thing that really bothered me was the thickness of these. I didn't want them to be super thick, but that was the only way I was going to get them without messing up my flowers. So for that, I'm still loving how these turned out. And also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did end up filing my ring finger down a little too short. But, you know, it's okay. The nails still came out great. I love them. And it was just so fun to do these. I love having all of the flowers out. And yeah, that basically wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and like how the nails turned out. 
Let me know what you think down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.